Welcome back. Uh, let's continue to the part two, where we will uh, discuss about the attributes and attribute values uh, developed in the Vue.js part. I'm using for this Vue.js, Inertia.js, and uh, let's get started. So here are my attributes, um, list attributes uh, component, uh, where my um, attributes are listed here. Okay. As you can see, everything it's uh, defined in the view tree style. Uh, everything is working fine. Um, the search is working, color. And after one second, as you can see here, I'm doing the uh, new attribute get uh, by filter and um, by this color. And if I give reset, everything resets and uh, gets the new value from the data again. Then we have everything um, in the attributes. When I open an attribute, uh, I extend the layout, the base breeze authenticated admin layout. And uh, here we have all these methods uh, for the um, attribute. Okay, let's open this. I have the checkboxes for different types of uh, product um, attributes content types I have the is the attribute required yes or no it's filterable yes or no and also I have the option values the option values doesn't use inertia JS but uses axios to get the values and the get the values returns all the values from the database through the attribute value controller and I have the get values uh, with different uh, repository, find the attribute and its values. Uh, as I've told you before, I didn't use the attribute uh, value repository here because it's simpler like this for me. Also, you can do different validations for this kind of um, for this kind of um, data processing maybe the attribute values are missing then you should return a json error good now i have the add values the add values is a simple show and hide uh, component um, as you can see and let's add a new uh a new packaging three liters and it's added also, I've used the attribute values as a component in the attribute component. And you can see that I have the attribute component and inside I have the attribute values, which is this one. When I click this, a new tab opens and uh, gets the data from the database. And um, when I create a new value, I use a notification that I've done. It's a global component which I've registered in the app.js, okay, as a global alert component. And everywhere when I want to use it, I can use it as I wish. For this, I've made a reusable uh, method or reusable class. And um, you can see that I use the use notification. It's reusable and it has show notification as a reference. Uh, notification content and uh, I return these and uh, I can use this to access the component everywhere where I would like to so for example I'm in the authenticated breeze authenticate authenticated admin and everywhere I can use this component uh, as a global alert without uh, needing to import as a import global component a uh, global alert this is not needed because i've injected it in the global uh, javascript file okay so this is how i've done it i have the edit and uh, repopulates everything and gets the index of the clicked row and uh, saves it, overwrites it uh, with Axios also. Update values, I send the payload, 
and um, receive the same value. And if it's successful, I upload, I uh, update the specific row. Okay. Attribute values and the update values. If the value I did successful, um, I get the keys and update that with the uh, received value. And this is how I've uh, made this. It's extendable on the left side. You may add new navigations for images, pricing and categories and whatever you may think of it. Good. Um, so on the front end, I've used Tailwind CSS, uh, Tailwind UI uh, on the front end, apip.test. I've used the same and I have the navigation menu with the props um, and also defined a big slot that uh, extends, uh, that helps uh, the public uh, layout to be extended. For example, the contact page, contact, uses the public layout and uh, inside the public layout, I just generate the contact page. And if we take this out, as you may see, the page will be empty. If we take hi, you will see hi, right? So let's put everything back and the contact page will reappear. Good. So this is how we've done this. And um, I hope that uh, it will help you and um, show, I, I hope it will help you and um, guide you in your current project or your next project or give you different ideas. Maybe you have uh, taken a part of my idea and extend it to your great idea. Um, but um, I hope that you like it and um, it will be useful for your use cases. So thank you for taking your, taking your time to watch this tutorial and see you in the next one. Cheers.